No, well, penny farthing records was purely because with page one, um, the deal was everything that walked through the door, I would produce, manage, and Dick would publish. That was that was it. So we had a record company there. Dick would publish, I would run the record company, which we did very, very well. And then then I people were saying to me, I think Dick's now I'm in the I'm in the floor above Dick, not a million miles away. And uh, somebody said, I think Dick's forming a record company. No, no, no. Dick Dick's the most honest man in the world. He would never do that. And all of a sudden then a, a record came out, a DJ, and and again, Elton John's first records, which are there, are distributed through page one distribution on the DJM label. So at which point I thought, I think I've just got screwed. I think I've just got screwed again. So I walked out and, and um, so many people walked out with me, which I didn't need because all of a sudden I was, I didn't, I didn't have a job as it were. And I had a staff with their families to keep. So that's how Penny found him. We all met up at the Hilton Hotel, as you would if you're unemployed. And um, we, I sent them all looking for offices and we found Tilney Street right next door to the Dorchester. And that was the start of Penny Farthing Records, which was, it was fun. Yeah, it was how I ran a label because I, there was only, I think it was, it was, we, with page one, we were like one of the first that was in media, and as you say, Joe Meek, and but but that that was a new thing to do that, and of course you you relied they could still screw you into the ground because if you had a big if you were distributed by EMI, you you've still got to get on the presses. <laughs> if you've got a hot record, if they don't put it on the presses, if their presses are too busy, you are in big trouble. We got involved, I used to visit the, pre I used to go to the factory. Having worked in the record factory, I used to go to the record factory. I knew the foreman, I would put them all on bonuses, I would put them on chart benefits. So, they, so that, was, that was the benefit to me of, um, of, of knowing the business from the ground up. Then again, I mean, you, you couldn't survive on just Britain. I mean, I, I set up deals everywhere in the world, everywhere in the world. Um, and we, we became very, very active. You know, we, we opened an office in New York. I mean, we went for it big time. And we, even the Larry Page Orchestra, we were hitting the charts in America with disco stuff, which was uh, really, really good. We had Daniel Boone. We, we, we got that away. We had Johnny Pearson and his orchestra. I mean, we, we had All Creatures Great and Small and uh, Sleepy Shores and records like that. So we were going across the board, as it were. We had uh, comedy records, which I think I regret. We put Blue is the Colour out, the Chelsea football team, which, which, which I loved and still do. If they can start winning, it'd be fantastic. My book will be coming out next year, 2017, and it will be called, at this stage of the game, Pages Turn, which means everyone else has talked, now it's my turn. And, and it, will, it, it, it won't be fictitious, it will be fact, it will be truthful. And if anybody wants to sue me for any content, please do, because it will all be the truth.